Hello everybody, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, dudes, to this. You're watching Baklakov Live, this is Sergey Baklakov here. I'm bringing you the live streams to the whole new level. 12th of March 2021, St. Petersburg, Russia. And right now we are on Abvodny Canal 74, Bypass Canal 74, on the territory of a former gas holders. Now here is a Lumiere Hall. Multimedia museum, different exhibits, high technology exhibits there. And uh, today there's also the concerts. The concert, which is called Party Like a Russian, Party Like an Oligarch. Well, I call it like that. <laughs> Lumiere Hall. Okay, what is this? Is this the entrance? Traditionally, I purchased the ticket online, got it as PDF. Five, six hundred rubles. Yeah, six hundred rubles, which is like eight bucks. What? Mm -hmm. I see what. Okay. Da. Тут ЛТ нормально да, ловит. Спасибо. О. LT, LTE is good. Looks like the planet's harem. Look, the planet's harem is just in a neighbor building. In a neighbor building, it's all the same company, the same businessman, Evgeny Gudov. Uh, so this is Lumiere Hall. So, so this is considered like a multimedia museum. Uh, here is like uh, the high end. Uh, the best, it's like the best equipment, multimedia equipment, devices, everything for making here different kinds of uh, exhibits, art exhibits, and now also the concerts, the concerts of SC Quintet band from St. Petersburg. Uh, they are pretty well known actually internationally. They are the winners of nine, nine international uh, Grand Prix of international uh, music competitions, and now here will be uh, the uh, the the concerts, which is called Parsi like a Russian because look, they are they call themselves a modern music group, but playing on a uh, Russian old traditional instruments. However, they are gonna play not only just the Russian and old Russian tunes and music, but also the world hits. Okay. But that's going to be with a balalaika, bass balalaika, uh, harmonica, or how to say, accordion. Yeah. And look, here is uh, bean bags. <clears throat> look, there is a huge dome. It's the same as in Planetarium. You don't see from here, probably, but here's a huge dome, but just not as huge as uh, in Planetarium, because in Planetarium there's just a bigger uh, gas holder. So yeah, now look, uh, 360, 360 visual effects, probably going to be also the pictures of uh, the most significant Russian uh, artists. Uh, so the start must be actually already now, technically it must be already now. Okay, I'm go I, I better, I better we'll, we'll take a place, we'll take a seat. Well, I'm gonna be really pretty close to the guys. Okay, now let me undress. So Lumiere Hall, it's a new place on our map, on the map of my channel. I keep bringing you the new places, the new places we never uh, undiscovered yet. Uh, I mean, this place is not new, it's already like several years here, but it's new on my channel. Always, whenever I can, I try to bring you something new. When I can't, we're just getting back to the places where we, we, that we already visited. 
Yeah, but whenever I can, I bring you the new stuff. I'm in a, I'm in a bean bag. How you call it? <laughs> Did you go to Kunst camera? Yes, check it out. Just just YouTube search it Kunst camera real Russia Look the definition is really good Wow The definition amazing Okay, you guys are coming. Essek Vintet in Lumiere Hall and on Backlog of Life. Connecting the external mic for for a better sound.
Прекрасно. А сейчас одно из самых известных русских народных произведений – это фантазия на темы «Свете месяца».
прекрасно. С Квинтет. Спасибо. А сейчас одно из самых русских известных произведений. Это араб Мачтурян, танец Сабли.
pretty awesome. The Soviet Russian composer Arya Aram Khachaturian. Sabres dance.
really awesome. This is a sec vintage. A nice medley of uh, Russian folk melody and ACDC. The end of the first part.
Okay, dudes, this is Baklukov Live, St. Petersburg, Russia. This is Lumier Hall. Lumier Hall, this is a high end multimedia museum. Here is uh, the most modern uh, projection equipment. Here is really, uh, I can see a high definition 360. So, all the time here they are making exhibits. Exhibits. Uh, exhibits of uh, different artworks and al also the concerts okay now here is the concert which is called party like a russian dedicated to maslinitsa butter week here in russia uh, don't forget that on sunday there's the final day of maslinitsa and i will go to the main place in saint petersburg for maslinitsa there we will burn the scarecrow of Maslenica, which is symbolize, which is symbolize, oh, the winter. So burning Maslenica scarecrow is like burning the winter. It's like when, uh, even by an old pagan traditions, the uh, winter is going away and the spring finally coming. Yes, look what a light. I've got a new cardigan, black one. <laughs> okay, Essex Quintet, uh, the band from St. Petersburg. Uh, they are the winners of uh, nine uh, Grand Prix of uh, international music competitions. No joke. Lumiere Hall. I'm glad today uh, to introduce you the new place on my map, on map of my channel. Let me tell you once again that whenever I can, I'm trying to bring you the new places to enjoy. Lumiere Hall here in St. Petersburg and also one in Moscow. Look, one more scene is here. The bar. Happy Maslenica. Party like a Russian, party like an oligarch.
death on the scene of Lumiere Hall, St. Petersburg. А сейчас мы исполним одно из наших любимых произведений. Недавно Мишка вышел фильм, где это произведение было такой заглавной мелодией. Это богемская рапсодия. Queen. Now it's Queen time.
Now this is some homage, homage to Queen Bohemian Rhapsody. Спасибо. Сейчас не менее известная мелодия, мелодия, которая очень часто используется как саундтрек фильмов. Она используется в таких фильмах, как криминальные шутивы и такси. Но, как оказалось, это старинная, очень старинная египетская мелодия о любви. Мы назвали это произведение «Восточная фантазия».
Green Pferd. Lumier for St. Petersburg.
Kalinka. Hey, it was an awesome time. That's for sure an awesome time here in Lumiere Hall. This is the concert of S. Quintet, that's how it's called. The guys from St. Petersburg, they describe themselves as a uh, modern music group playing Russian tradition, traditional instruments. Uh, so it's a nice concert dedicated to Muslims about a week here in Russia. Um, the concerts consisted of two parts. In the first part, they mostly played just uh, uh, Russian melodies. And in the second part, it was a nice covers of um, the world scene. Like there was an ACDC and Michael Jackson and Queen. That's Astra Pizzola. Yes, it's pretty. It's pretty cool, pretty cool, and you know, unusual for a concert place. Lumiere Hall. This is like a super modern um, multimedia museum. 360 of multimedia screens. It's awesome. Okay, let's go. I'm pretty happy. I'm always happy when I introduce the new places and uh, events and people. Judy Butterfield, thanks for appreciation. Grand Heaps, Happy Friday. Yes, yes, this is already Happy Friday. It's already, it's already turned to be a Happy Friday. Buddy Brin, fantastic, yes. Big Abu, you're welcome. Phil Martinez, great show, thanks, Sergey. Always welcome. And look, uh, in terms of muscling, it's a better week. Uh, don't forget that uh, I will go to the main place of uh, Mazarinitsa celebration uh, on Sunday. The Central Park of, leisure, of Culture and Leisure at Yelagin Island. At Yelagin Island so there will be the main action. It's about 7 p.m. local time. Well, I will start like maybe 5 and uh, like uh, for two hours we'll show what is hap what happens around. And uh, then at 7 uh, they will burn Maslin's Scarecrow, Maslin's Scarecrow, which symbolizes the winter. So like burning the Maslin's Scarecrow, it's like burning the winter, okay? Um, you know, this is when even uh, due to an old pagan traditions, the winter must go away. It's awesome. Yes, and also I believe uh, that traditionally it will be under the music of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. It's called like uh, goodbye, goodbye, Maslin. It's uh, it's uh, uh, Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov, one of the most significant Russian composers ever. Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov, and he also the one who wrote um, the flight of Bumblebee. Let's say. Do 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 do. <laughs> 
So it's a former gas holder. Which is now re-adapted for Lumiere Hall. High-end multimedia museum. And uh, right next to this, in a bigger gas holder there, there's a planetarium, planetarium one, uh, where I was like about several weeks ago, if you remember, we were li listening to Oregon there. And uh, this is officially the biggest planetarium in the world. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Sergey Baklikov, this is Baklikov Live. I keep bringing, I keep bringing a unique content. <laughs>